Telos means the highest purpose. It was a term coined by Aristotle. It's about individuals in society coming together to reach their fullest potential. The cities that have been built to date from scratch are more like real estate projects. They don't start with people at the center, because if you started with people at the center, you immediately would think, okay, what's the mission and what are the values? The mission of Telosa is to create a more equitable and sustainable future. That's our North Star, and that'll never change. What we're trying to do is combine sort of the best of different cities in the world and bring it together. So if you think about Telosa being as vibrant and diverse as a New York City, combined with efficiency, safety, and cleanliness of a city like Tokyo, combined with the social services, the sustainability, and the governance model of a city like Stockholm. We are going to be the most open, the most fair, and the most inclusive city in the world. If you really want to go after a moonshot, which I would consider the city to be, you have to start with a big, bold vision. You need to raise the required capital. You need to surround yourself with the very best people in the world. And if you get those three things right, you can achieve incredible, magical things. BRK, who's the founder of BIG, expressed an incredible passion for this project. Tolosa, in my mind, sort of embodies the kind of social and environmental care of a kind of Scandinavian culture and the kind of freedom and opportunity of a more American culture. You get a great firm with someone who basically is super passionate and wants to see this project come to fruition as much as we do. We're taking a stab at what we call equitism here. What if you can pay the same taxes that you pay today? but get the best social services of any country in the world. That's equitism. Testing this new model for society, and at the same time, you're also testing building a city from a clean slate. What would you do? How do you infuse technology in it? How do you build it more sustainable? How do you build a public transportation system that's more efficient? How do you build underground movement of waste and goods to keep the city more clean and more walkable? How do you test autonomous vehicles to keep it safer. If I can imagine the ideal state 30 years from now, I would want people to have a sense of pride in the city because the city lives by a set of values that resonate with them. That the city's the most open, the most fair, the most inclusive city in the world. And that that's what people feel when they're in the city.